Well, this is the biggest match of the year. Quite fitting to have these two players involved. The and final this the is the dust-up in PSA Doha. World Squash Championship 2014 between Urami Ashur of Egypt serving, Mohamed El Shabagi of Egypt receiving. Best of five games. Love all. So Rami Ashur kicks off the PSA World Squash Championships 2014 yeah. live here in Doha, Qatar. And out, one love. PJ, who do you think the crowd are going to go for between these two? Well, I think it's going to be a 50-50 split, Joey. I really do. Rami Ashur seems to be yeah. loved by all, wherever he plays. Yeah. This uh, mercurial one Egyptian, but El Shabagi up at world number one. He is a big favourite, especially with a lot of the younger juniors Down. and younger players. But there will be a lot of nerves on that court Two early more. on in this final. Probably the first game to game and a half it will take before the players so really down settle down and things wall, start please. to really open up. Well, we've got a lone ranger on the front wall wearing a nice white t-shirt. Well, the first three points here have been unforced errors. This is nothing but tension in the arm of a short. Signal straight away that that backhand volley should have gone straight. Yesterday in the second semi-final when El Shivagi came through Nick Matthew, one of the areas that the Englishman didn't quite capitalise on was exposing the movement of Shivagi. The pace was so fast and furious from the Hello. younger Egyptian that Matthew barely had time to think. That's one Four trait one. of Rami Ashur that really could hold him in good stead this evening. If he can take that movement away and break up that rhythm of El Shabagi. Right well, El Shabagi is now starting to fire on all cylinders. Five one. He knows that Rami Ashur, even before the injury, had a reputation of being slightly sluggish in the first game. And that's a nice opener for Shaw. And there's the reaction. And now, two five. Another unforced error. It was a similar start to Six the two. first game from Remy Ashur yesterday against Gregory Gautier, but something that the elder Egyptian did was start to move up the court quite substantially and started to cover the front court much, much better. And that's something he's going to have to do again here tonight. Stroke to Ashur. Well, it really is edgy out there tonight. Yeah, it's uh, Three, six. slightly different vibe for those semi-finals. Understandable, really. <laughs> Just clipping the top and of the tin there. Seven, three. Another unforced error, Joey. Five so far. Starting to really tally up. Five unforced errors from Ashaw. For those seven points for Shabagi. I can remember two years ago when we were commentating PJ and Rami Ashour lost the first game in about six or seven minutes and he actually stayed on court and didn't go to have a drink or a, a relieve. He was just hitting the ball very casually and I couldn't believe it after uh, it being a world championship final. <laughs> but if anyone can do that, it's Ashour. It's just so difficult to predict what the, the Gips is going to do. Another unforced error. Two years ago is a very, and very different circumstance to what we have now. And a completely different mentality and player in the form of Hamad El Shabagi. Well, we've heard him say in the interview that two years ago he was the heavy down. underdog going oh, into another. the final. And that's number six, PJ. Eight, Whereas this evening it's a role reversal. It's now the younger Egyptian, the number one seed, that uh, has all that weight upon his shoulders. So far he seems to be handling it. A little bit better. Tight 
might work. It's good to see him playing the ball. <laughs> Good quality. Great rally there from Shibagi, the fist pump. Well, it's the longest rally we've had so far in this first game. Shibagi at 9 4. Slightly heavy there. And out. Another unforced error, Joey. <laughs> they really are starting to. 5 tally 9. Up now. Just the one lengthy rally. You'd have to say that that will play into Shibagi's hands. Just caught Hamid El Shabagi. I think that's got to be a stroke, isn't it? That's well, the big got question to be a is it preventative? Yes, no, that's got to be a stroke, oh, no. isn't it? He's on there to play a winning shot. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't see it as a we didn't see it as a stroke situation. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, it's asking for a review, is he? He's got to ask. I hit him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, but I hit him on the shot. I understand in that. We've in given a let. Yeah. Yeah, we've given a let. Five nine. He should review it. Yeah, let. Why doesn't he review it? That's quite short. Well, he's not in that. Well, that's uh, a round of applause. And a half. Again, just as he comes in there, you can just see the racket clips the right shoulder of El Shabagi. But why wouldn't he review that? Because he's not thinking about reviewing. Fantastic lift there from Shib sorry from uh, Ashore. Down well, the trademark. Watch oh, this. Shibagi. Yeah, watch this though. Watch Rami Ashore on this situation. He is literally head down Six and watching. Nine. He holds his movement, PJ. He waits because he knows that Shibagi's got that massive deceptive drop shot where he comes from the big swing. A lot of players are already gone. And that's the uh, ability of Rami Ashore. What he's able to see that bit earlier. That looked double. dodgy. Yeah, that's a perfect example of Ashore taking away the movement of Seven, Shibagi here. Watches the Egyptian jumps and plants his feet, then Ashore plays the ball. So there's no momentum for El Shibagi to get those feet moving. Very subtle skill from Rami Ashore. He has led. 7-9. Yes, lad. Yeah, you moved across into his path. Seven nine. I think it's a good decision. Remy Ashore was already on his way through there to try and play that ball from El Shibagi. So the referee's already been called into action. Well, that 
is as dead as a dodo. That is not coming back out the mick. And again, the crowd screaming their applause as this Maverick starts to find the winners. Six eight, unforced nine. errors Ramia Shaw has made, and now he is at 8-9. Stroke to Al Shobagi. Well, he'd kind of given that one up there. It was a slightly fortunate bounce for El Shabagi, and he needed that point desperately. You see how it came straight. It kind of hit the join, didn't it, PJ? Two game balls. Mohamed El Shabagi. Oh, my goodness me. How does he do it? All we and can see there was a serve and then the ball popping out the neck. Nine, Did ten, you see anything at all? <laughs> You're asking me? <laughs> of course not. That is a worrying sign for El Shabagi. Brenda Shaw starts to find his range into that front right corner. That could be a stroke. Stroke to Ashaw. It is. Well, look at this. This is where Ramir Shaw is so dangerous. When he's behind, the Egyptian really does come into his own. We're going for a review, and I don't think this is going to be overturned by the video review referee. It's a poor shot from Shibagi. Ball squirts into the middle. Ashaw's looking to get forward early and play this ball, but he can't because El Shibagi is well within his swing. Stroke. Oh, there we see it. Stroke decision so the upheld. decision is Ten upheld. Player to win by two points. Each player has one video review available. Well, we're locked in in this exciting first game at 10 all. Well, he will not stop. The problem, Hamid El Shabagi is not getting that width. He's not getting it high. And Rami Ashour is not missing. The confidence shot from Ashour, shining. First game ball for the number four seed. Oh, he's got the lucky bounce there. What happened there? He's conceding. Uh, out. 11 all. Well, something happened. Conceding Dub something. I think this may have been a double hit from Ashour. Well, that is wonderful because I had no idea, and you certainly didn't. And I don't think the referees did. Well, it's good to know the players are now refing themselves. Such a clever shot, that, from Romeo Shaw. Just taking the pace off the ball. The backhand volley cross-court. It's a shot he really has made his own. Yes, lad. 11 all. He had a look. He was <laughs> slightly <laughs> aggressive with his movement here, Shabag. He runs into the back of Romeo Short. Yeah, you're too late to, to ask for the review. We need to be a bit quicker. Oh, you listen to him now? Yeah, no, you need to be. The replay has been played. Well, he's smiling there, Romeo Short, but inside he will be very, very angry. Players exchanging a few words, and the last thing you want to do is upset Remy Ashore. He seems to find another gear or two. Continue, thanks. What are you saying to him? What do you mean too late? They'd already showed the replay. You delayed too long. You've got to get in quicker. How? What's, what's no, that, I've, no, I've explained. No further comments. 11 all. He can be a little bit spacey with the reviews. He's not, he's, he's not trying to be sneaky and watch a replay. He's just a little bit spacey. But I know you, what you're saying there with the, the slight movement into him. One thing you don't want to do is upset him because uh, he, he seems to uh, play better when he does get upset, even better. <laughs> Terrific work down this wall. He's done well. He's done very well Excellent. 
He was working so hard, PJ, all. because of the pressure coming from El Shabagi on that backhand side. He was running around him and managing to still squeeze the ball tight. I mean, his improvisation is a joke, isn't it? Yeah, it's stunning. <laughs> First unforced error from Hamad El Shabagi for a long, long time. He does and love to take that ball. 12-11 game ball. When it's mid-court or three-quarter court short, he rolls his wrists over. It's very deceptive. So a short with his second game ball opportunity. Shibagi on the yes let decision and no well, another comments. review Thank Joey you. but this is going to remain the same as well I think the ball had gone past Mohamed El Shibagi here it's wishful thinking really from the younger Egyptian he's got to go through and no, try and play the ball bounces. the ball is already yeah. towards the back of the court this would be a better angle to be honest ball's traveling to the back of the court the first bounce is the back of the service box Yes, let decision upheld. El Shabagi has no reviews remaining. 12-11, game ball. Oh, he's fumbling with his shoulder again. And there's the 13, stroke. 11 game to so a sure takes a quite dramatic game first game. You wouldn't expect anything less after a shaky start. Six unforced errors from Rami Ashour, still managing to take the first game 13-11 in 16 minutes. The number four seed leads by one game to love. Well, what a wonderful start here. The scene was set for another epic battle between these two. Rami Ashour, the underdog on paper as he came into this final. El Shabagi cruised his way through to this final. Six unforced errors, as Joey said, from El Shabagi. Clearly, the nerves started to settle in from the mid-stage on for the number one in the world, but number two seed. But Remy Ashour will see an array of outright winners into this front right-hand corner from the Egyptian, really starting to express himself now. He's taken a very important first game against Mohamed El Shabagi. Couple of stroke decisions at the end but things really are hot hotting up here in Doha. Well, this Khalifa complex is the coldest squash court environment in the world, I can assure you, on the world tour. And it is roasting hot with all the people and also the drama that's going on between these two. To create six unforced errors like that and still win against somebody like Hamad Al Shabagi is quite extraordinary. But it's just pure nerves, isn't it? And we mentioned at the top of the show, whichever player can handle this kind of pressure amongst these such tense times, there's so much at stake, this wonderful prestigious 15, world title. 15 you seconds. Lost in the final two years ago, El Shabagi, and you can't help but feel that that will be on the mind of the younger Egyptian. We just see Remy Ashore there with the, sh the sleeve just rolled up. And uh, he's obviously got an issue with the shoulder there. Yeah, it's one of the uh, deltoid muscles in the shoulder. On call, please. Got three areas of muscle. The uh, anterior deltoid, posterior and medial deltoid. It's a tricky area. We know that um, well, Mick Matthew, the uh, current world champion, seemed to be dethroned. He actually had a huge shoulder, a sh a shoulder Just need surgery. To be a bit Quicker on court, Mr. Uh, Ishaw, uh, that's a little sure. late. Now has his shirt pulled up, but I mean... Well, I, I think he's just showing off his biceps, Joey. Well, why not? Jim Work's obviously paying off. I just find it unbelievable when you're actually in the commentary box in your training vest. <laughs> I wish I had a pair of biceps like that. Well, keep your hands off mine. 
I mean, it would be a bit odd to actually see him play without him kind of fidgeting or rubbing something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, he's still able to generate so much power, as I said earlier, from his wrist. I mean, he takes the ball in front with so much power and timing. Makes it really Ashley very hard to read because you have a one game to love. hardly any time to see. Love all. See Ali Bin Ali, who's uh, been the sponsor of this tournament for well over uh, 20 years, I think now. Down. And that was a slightly odd shot and there, PJ. Well, shaky start to that second game. Again, he's waving that uh, shoulder. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what he's doing here. Start the second. Just two poking love. at the ball. So two love for El Shabagi. Looks like Nami Ashore is... Uh, Three love. I, 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 it's so hard to kind of commentate on it because you see that... The, <laughs> and now... What, Imagine how hard it is One to play, three. anyway. Oh, he's just guessing there. Oh, my goodness me, he's flinching with pain. He's in agony. He's in absolute agony. Two, three. Watch him after this. He guesses this and watch his face. He's gone. Well, we'll talk about that uh, hamstring that's been chronic. And it looks like Ramia Shaw's shoulder's gone. Well, we were astonished, Joey, how after six months of non-competitive squash for <laughs> Ramia Shaw that he'd got through to the final of this World Championship. But three, this four. was the last thing we would have expected. It's now the shoulder that's causing problems. Shabagi just thumping it onto his racket. I mean, we just have to go with the flow here because he's wincing and not really swinging, but he's four all. Now, as you can see, that pick up. El Shabagi's got to get his focus, four. which he'll do, and concentrate on the business at hand. It's very difficult from uh, the opponents situation when you've got somebody like a Shaw who's so dangerous creates an edginess well, he's wincing every time he hits Fine. the ball well, you become so aware side. don't you as an opponent you become so aware and you get distracted by what they're doing and how they're feeling yep it's very hard and to then you don't keep the focus on what you're doing yep. oh wow that was a bit no lad. he slipped on the floor <laughs> I thought he was going to take him down. You see Six here, five. he just slips. Well, again, that's <laughs> another <laughs> another example of how Remy Shaw takes away the movement of Shabagi. Well, literally. He looked like one of those cartoon characters trying to burn <laughs> with the, the legs, legs yeah. moving so quickly. Well, this is really... Well, that's very tight. I can't see that possibly be... He's going to go for a review on this. Uh, the reason they've gone for a stroke there, the referees, Joey, is you look at the racket preparation of El Shabagi, he goes straight behind Remy Short. He's not really looking to play the ball here. He's gone for the man, not for the ball. It's a good shot from Shabagi. Good counter drop there, and the racket has gone behind the player. I do I do feel that this possibly is a stroke. Oh, he has gone for him he's there. He's gone for the man. Yeah, he's gone for the man, you're right. Stroke decision upheld. Ashur has no Slightly really heavy on the drop though from Remy Ashur, so I can see Six why all. the referees have stuck with the stroke decision. That's Plus. quality. That's dead. No let. That's a very good decision there. This forehand counter drop from Remy Ashur stays so far up the court. Seven seats. It just doesn't bounce at all. Well, I mean, talking about hands. Down. I missed that one. It was on his racket, P PJ. It was a loose ball from El Shabagi. Just needs a few more seconds to have a quiet <laughs> word with himself there. <laughs> he was 
mid sentence is short. <laughs> Finish it to whoever <laughs> he's talking to. That's too out. heavy. He's skied that one out of court. Two unforced errors in this latter Eight stage of a very strange second game. Literally putting everything short. Oh this is ridiculous. Down. He makes the unforced error. The pressure, oh, Al Shabag is fighting and fighting to get the ball back. It's not easy because there's hardly any pace on the ball at Nine, all, seven, and the ball's getting outside. very dead without the, the lack of hitting. And there was the pressure from the movement of Shabagi. So three unforced errors, and El Shabagi at 9-7. Down. That's number four. 10-7. Game ball. You have to give credit to El Shabagi here. He's keeping his focus and concentration. It's so difficult. When you, the opponent. There it is. Yeah, yeah, El Shabagi focus. takes the second game. Clenching that fist, his arm vibrating all over the place. Ramia short. Looks like he's in serious trouble. We've seen this before. Six minutes in duration, so no time at all. El Shabagi takes a very up and down second game, 11-7. It's one game all. Well, the drama once again surrounds this final. Ramia Shaw came out for this second game clearly in discomfort with a shoulder issue. We saw that start last night against Gregory Gautier, but he managed to play through the injury pretty well. But uh, he's certainly not looking 100% out there today. But give credit to Mohamed El Shabagi. He didn't get involved. He's trying to stay focused. Ramia Shaw almost playing a short game in this final. Every shot from the elder Egyptian is going into the front of the court. Four unforced errors at the late stage of this second game, handing the second to Shibagi. We're now levelled up at one game all. Well, Hamad Al Shibagi, as soon as his mother came over, he signalled to the referee he wants that new ball. It's a habit he always goes for, and it's clever because uh, that other ball getting very, very dead, which was a yeah. helping a short. So we'll have a fresh ball to kick off this third game. Well, this is the forehand drive, which is very particularly shows him wincing. Sorry, the forehand volley. And the, see him there. It's hard to know exactly where it is in his shoulder but he's getting treatment behind the seconds. main stand. 15 seconds called. I hope he gets on court now because he's already been warned about his late arrival. Here he comes. Well, I hope here he comes. It's been called. John Mazzarella, here he comes. Good timing. Time. Well, he's going to have to battle through the pain here. Well, it is the World Championship final. Uh, if ever there is a stage where he's going to have to be crawled off the court or pulled off the court. It's quite interesting here as well. He'll probably just let Hamad El Shabagi warm this up. It takes His shoulder really is hurting. He's not going to be able to cane it. And El Shabagi will probably just have to warm this up on his own. You know how much effort it is to warm up uh, a gold ball, PJ. It takes you hours. <laughs> Stick mine in the oven, Joey. <laughs> yeah, and it's just short little jabs in this knock-up. He's not trying to uh, hit at all. His body language is very Games flat. He's not bouncing on his toes, Ramia Short. Serving. Look Love at his all. shoulders. You can see the uh, parents of Hamad El Shabagi. Been here all week in Qatar. Yeah. And there's the first unforced error. One love. Uh, 
right side. Too low. Yeah, yeah. A let. Decision. Yes, let. Well, the guys are kind of refing themselves at times, One which low. is good. That uh, he didn't actually shout out that ball to John Mazzarella. Down. Oh, he's made the error. But this is so difficult for El Shabagi. He knows that Remy Shaw is struggling. Oh. But he reads the game so well, Remy Ashore. So it's, he's caught in two minds every time he goes to the front of the court, El Shibagi. Yeah. Oh, look at that again. I mean, the boast was not average by any means from El Shibagi, but it's two the soft one. hands from Ashore, improvising continually. Down the middle, still on the racket. Hand out to all. Down. Oh, they're not going in now. Romeo Shaw starting to make a couple of errors. 3 2. Well, three errors. Three of El Shabagi's points have been unforced errors from a short. Too good. Well, that's another example, PJ. And out. You pointed Three out over. taking the movement away from Hamad Al Shabagi, stopping him. I mean, he's completely controlling the pace here, Ramia Shaw. Now he's suddenly hitting the ball. I mean, well, I wonder, Joey, if this is one of the kind of injuries that can warm up a little bit when, when the muscle's colder. It's stiffer and therefore more painful. But as it warms up, I've got it can no start to, uh, to loosen up a little bit. Well, he's just been walloped in the head. Yes, lad. You know what they say, when you've got a bit of pain somewhere else, it's worth, you know, I've usually done that to you, haven't Three I? Or. When you're having problems with your hips, you ask me to give you a good wallop in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Took my mind off my hips completely. <laughs> it's the only way to start you up sometimes. Well, there wasn't shoulder. anything wrong with well, his shoulder no. before. <laughs> there will be now. Stunning length. Yeah, yeah it's lovely. Oh, Shibagi straightens up well here from the front left. Slightly awkward and movement. Four, three. Let's see how he gets the body round and then straightens up. Oh, perfect. Second bounce. Drive. Yeah, second bounce into the back wall, Nick. 4-3. off it. This really is a wonderful exhibition of ball control. Both players yeah. varying the pace in height and angles. There. See, Ahmed El Shabagi, one thing he has, he's got huge plates, and massive out. feet on him, and he comes Four. in on the heel, and he is liable with that pressure of his movement to slip sometimes, and that affected that forehand drop shot. baby in the crowd PJ just something to get used to <laughs> <laughs> you certainly will Joey I think uh, we've got about five weeks four weeks um, under four weeks now oh. so any time really I presume you will be flying back from the States to help me out It's not me that's having it, although I am <laughs> slightly swollen at the moment. 
You can blame the heat of uh, Doha. Ah, can do that. Like 20 minutes. Wait. Stroke. Review, please. Guys, uh, that's a bad decision. No, hang about. What? Let's, let's look at the review. Well, he's, no, he's made no, him annoyed no. again. He's a sure <laughs> video review on he's the He's made him annoyed again. I mean, I, I know this is a stroke, and this is the streetwise side of Shibagi. Talk us through this one, PJ, because you can wait on your shot, but he knows exactly what he's doing, and he's looking for him in his swing there. Well, there's no attempt what? to play the ball here from Shibagi. He waits and wait. He's looking for the man there. I think this should get overturned, actually. Well, I have to disagree with that one, Joey. By the time Shabag had waited and Ramya Shaw had been in the swing, the ball would have actually bounced twice. Well, what the crowd doing on that one? El Shabagi serving at 5 4. Well, he's starting to liven up a little bit, though. When he hit that unforced error, he's bouncing four. like a kangaroo. So, Shaw making his fourth unforced error. Down. And Shibagi now seven at 7-4. Seven four. Four. Five of the points from El Shabagi have been unforced errors from a short and a stroke, so that's six. No let. Eight, four. It's only the second outright winner that El Shabagi's hit in this third game. As you see there, there's a rather commanding 8-4 lead now. That's another perfect length. This is good squash from El Shabagi. Nine, four. He's closing the court down really well. An outright winner at the back. He's done that a couple of times, isn't he, in this third game? For the crowd doing their best to try and lift the spirits of Ramir Shaw. Really is struggling out there. Please, when they're serving, just quiet, thank you. A little bit. Uh, Exuberance in the crowd. Down. There's certainly nothing wrong with the movement of Romeo Shaw. And he goes completely the wrong way here, halfway through this rally. Hand out, 5-9. Squeezes the error. Oh, it's a great shot. It's a wrong-footing boast. Very good strength from El Shabagi. Actually playing it off the orthodox leg. He had to get it right because his movement was going backwards. Paying off for the younger Egyptian. Five game balls for a 2-1 lead. Clever hitting, very, very wide. The ball dying in the back corner. El Shabagi's hitting from the front of the court to the back has been so impressive, particularly in this third game. Well, the world number one, but number two seed now leads by two games to one. Well, a commanding 2-1 lead now for Mohamed El Shabagi. Again, far too many unforced errors from Rami Ashour. Didn't see too many issues with the shoulder in that third game, so hopefully things are starting to ease up for the elder Egyptian.
But full credit again to El Shabagi. He's containing Ashore very well. He's keeping himself in front of the Egyptian, not allowing him to express himself at the front of the court. Some wonderful straight hitting from Shabagi, especially down the backhand side of the court. That's where he's primarily keeping the ball. He knows that Ashore is struggling on that backhand side. It's a very healthy 2-1 lead now. One game away from an elusive World Championship title. Well, there's uh, Amin El Shabagi's mother. She's been advising him throughout the whole of this final and quite a few of the matches previously. And if anyone can come back from six months out of the tour competitively, it is Rami Ashour. I mean, he's come back in a in a fury getting to this final, but I do feel that if he were to, to win the final, it would not put dampeners on, but I just think it, it, it would show, because these guys, obviously, you've got... Shabagi and Matthew and, and Gregory Gaultier who are at the top of their game. Yes. And I just think it would put a, a bit of a dampener on the rest of them. Potentially. I, I understand your point, Joey, but it could also just show us how brilliant well, he is. Man I mean, is. That, but I mean, that's what I said. If anyone could do it, it's him, and he is. But yes. I just think that the level that's gone, I mean, of course, Matthew is, is, is at the twilight of his career. Gaultier is still in the mix. Um, and at big world championships and British Opens, Matthew, Commonwealth Games. But El Shabagi is playing the best squash and he's kind of rising that bit more and going up another gear. Anyway, let's see what this fourth game, hopefully it'll be very, very exciting. Uh, the unforced error count, without uh, being too uh, critical of Rami Ashour, is just too much. I mean, you can't give away one, two, three, four, five, six unforced errors and a stroke, seven three points to the world number one well, I'm just and very still win very impressed with your mathematics Joey you did that all on your own without a calculator I mean that's uh, yeah astonishing it is I am impressed I am uh, no but you're right Joe it's the uh, biggest match in the world and to give away so many cheap errors at any level is borderline unacceptable but the flip side of Remy Shaw he can then go on eight or nine winners. So it's such a, Two games to one. Well, a such a tough balance. Really is. He's even lower than he was yesterday. He's taking charge. He hasn't been called into question very much so far. This is a more positive physical start from a short. Well, he needs to get off to a good start in this. That looked like it just went out of court, actually. Out, out. The ball was out. Yeah, the ball was out of court. Hand no, out one love. Out of court. The three referee swear decision. How can you swear? Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> out. Three referees out. called it out. Ball was out. Hand out one love. <laughs> so he's a real advocate for honesty, isn't he, Remy Shaw? The last thing he well, was Well, you saw what he did. There was a shot we didn't even realise, and he conceded a crucial Game ball. time the first. Game ball. But that was out. Saw it first time. Down. Two love. Well, he's tails up now, Remy Short. That was inch perfect. Wow. That was inch perfect squash. That was controlling the ball beyond Three this love. world. The pace he took off all of these shots. How does he do it? Oh. That's good reaction, Smell Shabagi. Just not wide enough on the cross court here from Remy Ashore. No, the wingspan of Shabagi catching that very low, but balanced, taking it in front. Well, this is the best start in this final so far from Remy Ashore. He's been behind in every other game. Oh, 
good work down the backhand side there, Joey. <laughs> well, that was uh, short. He read this Two flick three. by short, and there, lowering that swing. Great change of pace and variation yeah. again from Remy Short. These movements for Shibagi are very hard on the legs. It's got to start to take its toll at some stage. Well, we're around about 45 minutes, PJ. And we know that these guys are able to play. Oh, I don't know how he does. I don't know how he does the dive and then still it's like it all everything goes in slow One motion. One continuous movement, isn't it? It's like even his opponent goes in slow motion. It gives him time. Is he controlling time? How does he make this? Is look he controlling so time? Yes, I'll ask you a question. He is. <laughs> well, look at this. This is made to look so easy. Shibagi heading off down the backhand side. He waits that fraction of a second longer, sticks it back across the body. Even no one was attacking, you should have stopped that trolley because it was too dangerous. If you would have stopped, I would have stopped it. You should stop it. No. Your responsibility no. is the safety of the player. If you feel it's not, you can stop. Well, we, we had this discussion uh, with Gaultier and Ramia Short. Because of the dive, there's not really any sweat Five there two. at all. But he's learned that from the semi-final between uh, Rami Shaw and Gregory Gaultier, where the referee, if the player stops, he'll be happy to stop the rally. Yes, lads. 5-2. I mean, even these shots down the middle, we saw Shibagi do this a lot against Nick Matthew yesterday, and it was causing a lot of problems for the Englishman, but it's almost as though he sees things so much slower than anybody else <laughs> around the shot. <laughs> Oh, it's the time thing. He's using a percentage of his brain to control time. Einstein. Well, there's uh, a fury of pace, tempo by El Shabagi. He's trying to up it. Wanting to keep Ashore moving. Again, it's another let yes, ball. Lad. Well, just look at the body language Five here two. of Shibagi. He's breathing heavy after that rally. Left side. Shoulders were slumped. Just watch this here. Look at the body of Shibagi. He's starting to look a little bit tired there, Joey. Well, I don't just think it's from uh, all the squash. It's a huge amount of pressure that he's had on as well from the beginning of a very long tournament. But then he has got the ability to start to run on adrenaline for a long period of time. Down. Just takes in one rally or a certain shot. Nel Shabagi starts to bound five. around like a, a rampant gorilla. Baggy's now being able to control the pace a bit more. He's getting a short to hit with him here. Yeah, 
this is also good from Ashore. He's not making the unforced errors. Shibagi's having to win the rallies as opposed to be gifted it. Handed so many cheap points, exactly. Oh, he's looking for him again there. Yes, lad. Good decision. Five. He's looking, he's turning for Rami Ashore. Now, the cross court volley, uh, Nick, was not good. But yeah, you see. Well, he was savvy to it that time, Rami Ashore. Knew that he'd hit a slightly heavy cross court, Nick. Savvy. It's going to be a stroke. Stroke to Ashore. Well, it's accentuated there by the fact that Remy Ashore took a couple of skips across the Hello. court. There is a bit of impact there, but... 6-3. <laughs> no arguments, really, from El Shibagi. Yes, lad. Yeah, yeah, you're pushing him into it as well. I've given you the explanation. Six to me. Well, I'm not so sure this is the case here. Remy's not pushing Shibagi into the ball there. It's more a case of Shibagi backing out into the line of Remy Ashore. He's lucky to not be awarded a stroke there. Remy Ashore's not the type of player that will try to uh, manipulate the rules in that way. No, you can't get that one back. That's an acknowledgement there. There'll be a court wiping. Court attendant, thank you. He wasn't able to stop time after that dive. See it here is the flick, the drop shot. Here comes the dive. And then we play at real time. Well finished off by Shibagi. This is uh, that rally in full speed. Did you see any and of that, PJ? Six. No, it's still a blur. <laughs> I need to slow that down. The door, Quite a few frames you. per second. Well, the door left open, now closed. Shibagi serves in this fourth game at 4-6. Big rally at the mid-stage of this fourth game. Tight forehand drive here from Rami Ashore that forces the, the loose video, ball from Shibagi. Ashore is attempting to play the backhand volley drop. He does clip the side wall front wall first, but it's too good for Shibagi. He's nowhere to be seen. He's appealed. We have a review. Goes completely the wrong way there. He's way too far back in the court. You can see he's at the, almost at the back of the service box. The ball hasn't even come into play. That's too good. Yes, lad. Oh dear, oh dear. Decision overruled. El Shibagi has one with you remaining. Four six. Well, a bit of a lifeline there for Hamid. is brutal and that is the power of El Shibagi oh my goodness that's the hard movement there again 
Ramia Shaw really is putting a lot of physical distress into the legs oh, of Shabagi. Well, this is excellent. Oh, what a rally! What a rally, PJ! Harry Ram Ram into the front right-hand corner. Both players hitting behind their back. Ramia Shaw the first time. And then Hamid El Shabagi the second. Hand out. And that's a thanks for coming. Awesome squash, 7-4. Seven, 7-4. Four. Seven, four. The Shaw leads in this fourth game. And he's starting to blow a bit more, Hamid El Shabagi. And that's a strong attack. Yes, lad. 7-4. Romeo Short just starting to sense the El Shabagi train slowing down ever so slightly. The stop start movement that Romeo Short forces into the legs of the players just makes him so heavy. That's a stroke. Stroke to Ashura. Video review. So now Mohamed Shabagi is starting to question decision. every decision from the referees now. Needs to keep a lid on things. It's another video review which will be welcomed by Shabagi. Give him a chance to rest a little bit. He's sitting on the back wall. It's a poor shot again from Shabagi. Squirts out into the middle of the court. Yeah, he's hunched over watching this. The uh, viewers obviously watching the reviews, but we can see court side as well. And. Uh, it's deemed as a stroke. El Shabagi slightly El bent Shabagi over. He's up now. No 8-4, left side. So the... Uh, Go. Oh, and that was uh, something that El Shabagi desperately no, needed, PJ. Could be another it's stroke. Be a stroke. Yes, lad. Oh dear. Why is he not reviewing? Five eight. This is a poor shot again from Shilagi. Lost his review. Well, that explains it then. Yes, lad. Five eight. He's looking for the stroke there. Yes, let. I think that's a good decision because that's a good. What do you think to that one? Well, Ramia Shaw stays on the side wall here. El Shabagi has the entire front wall to hit the ball here. Just watch the movement of Shabagi. He goes onto the side wall. Pardon? It did hit his short. That ball did hit his short. Well, I'm at El Shabagi saying that the one down the middle, not this one, obviously, not this one, but the one down the middle previously is meant to have hit Ramia Shaw's shorts. Well, he lifted his leg up where he walloped it, and Ashore, it was loose from El Shabagi, but hit hard, and Ashore managed to lift his leg up. Right side, 5'8". Oh, it's well, not even touch close. His shorts. His shorts are so high. And tight. Oh. 5-8. I mean, this is a great counter drop from Remy Shaw. Shabagi's got to go through and try and play the ball there, surely. Well, there's a lot of decisions, stoppages going on now in this fourth game. Well, that will be a let ball. How many decisions? Are you making a note, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> I think we're up to about seven so far. Because that's your department, I'm the error and winner department, and you are the <laughs> less <Decision>. strokes. <laughs> We've just topped the power mark now, Joey. Oh, he's... I can't 
can't believe he's got these balls up. And he's still in this rally. There will be an eruption if he wins this rally, Ravier Short. Goodness me, he's hanging on for dear life here. And he's done it. And there's the eruption. No let. There is the eruption. I don't think he's asking for a let. I think he's appealing on a possible pickup scenario. And out. Nine five. He's not asking for a let there, surely. There was a no let said by John Mazzarella. Nine five. El Shabagi bending over once again. See him trying to get the blood back. And there's a taxi. So with that flick, Ramir Shaw has five Ten game five. balls to take game this ball. into a fifth and final game. He's done it, Ramia Shaw has taken the fourth game. 11-5. Quite brilliantly. That shoulder of his seems to be completely fine. I have no idea how it can go in and out like that. 19 minutes in duration, the longest game. Look at the score line as well, but Ashaw takes that one. 11-5, two games all after 61 minutes. The stage was set for an epic final between these two, and they certainly haven't disappointed. What a turnaround in this fourth game from Ramia Short. It was the best start to a game that he's had in this final so far. Even in the game that he won, the first game, he got off to a terrible start, Ramia Short. But he's now starting to really put some heavy work into the legs of Mohamed El Shabagi. The younger Egyptian really is starting to labor in some of his movements. Here was the exchanges across the middle of the court behind the back from both players. Ramia Shaw starting to move so much more freely. No issues with the shoulder so far. Hopefully that remains the same. There's the massive taxi at game ball. What a fifth and final game we have in store. Well, you couldn't write it. There it is. He is close to it, but he's got to get one more game. Ramia Shaw is getting better now. The physical aspect is getting into Hamad Al Shabagi. It's 61 minutes, but there's been dreadful changes in rhythm, which stop start movements can sap the legs, as my co commentator has been pointing out. He's used to playing in a bit more of a rhythm, although it's a ridiculously fast rhythm. He's been stop started here, there, and everywhere, and it's starting to take take its toll on Shabagi, but one thing you can be certain of, he will come out and he will leave everything on that court. And I wouldn't be surprised if El Shabagi actually steps up the pace and comes again. I, 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 I think there is a physical element there, but I think that uh, the mental strength and the hunger of this younger Egyptian will cause a serious problem for Ramia Short. But let's wait and see. So, so hard to predict. It's the first time Ashore has come on court first out of the two players. Although he's probably coming back to do something, but he was on court first. Usually he's taken the full allotted two minutes. Well, the dust up in Qatar is uh, proving a cracker, PJ. Are you with us, PJ? I'm just in complete awe at the moment, Joey. PJ? <laughs> I'm still here. Just picking myself up off the floor after that fourth game. I mean, it's absolutely breathtaking. And we're just uh, sitting here watching it, what it must be like out on that court. Goodness only knows. Mohamed El Shabagi did have a 2-1 lead, and he was looking like he was on his way through to get his hands on that world title. But you just never can write off Rami Ashore. He's looked very, very shaky at the beginning of some of these games. All sorts of problems going on with the shoulder, but it is the world final. Two games all, I So he'll serving. be putting himself through absolute hell out there. Well, the last game of the biggest match of the year. 
Ramia saw Ramia Shaw serving. Now that is a very positive start. Psychologically so important for Hamad Al Shabagi. Leaping up the court. Mohamed El Shabagi is working so hard here. Those quadriceps will be burning. Well, that's brilliant. There's so much energy to play the ball from ashore. He was getting around Shabagi. You see him pushing to get to the ball. And again, ferocious. He wants to keep that rally going, PJ. He doesn't want the breakups in play. Shabagi taking a bit of time. Really taking time to return serve here. Wow. The change of pace here from Remy Ashuri allows the body to just maneuver out of the way ever so slightly. Ball comes out into the middle here from El Shabagi and he fades that ball into the front left corner. Well, that was uh, important for Hamad Al Shabagi. He read it, Rami Ashore, but it was enough on it, enough pace to get away from the reach of the Maverick. Well, PJ, you can say it. I know you want to. There's absolutely nothing in it. The weight of shot here from Remy Shaw is absolutely stunning. He and just holds his position, waits three, for the two. ball to drop to a comfortable height, and then just puts that ball into the back left-hand corner, inch-perfect accuracy. Look at the movement here of Mohamed El Shabagi. It's very, very laboured. He's almost, it's almost like a hopping kind of movement. He's not springing and there's no real life in the legs. 4-2. As we come into the mid-stage of this crucial fifth game. Down. Well, he's made the unforced error. That was a gift. The ball was hit directly onto the racket of Ramia Short. 3-4. What a feed. Again, Hamid El Shabagi taking a bit of extra time just to refocus. Yes, lad. Three, four. the 70 minute mark now this extremely high quality match you'd have to say Joey it is the best match of the year that we've seen so far it's rather fitting really that it is the world championship final we've had our sports rivalry over the years Ali Frazier Connors and Borg and Barrington and Johnson and now Shabagi and Ashore 5-3 So the two-point lead. 
opens up once more for a short. Yes, lad. 5 3. It's coming across nicely on that forehand volley. It served him well so far in this match, Hamad Al Shabagi. No let. Video review. Video review, I'm sure, on the no let decision. Well, El Shabagi managed to get the ball into the. There's the miss hit, and then the stretch over on the cross court return. That's, this is probably the best. Well, he, well he's, I mean, some of the retrieving that we've seen of Remy Ashore, especially with the back wall boasts. You can't write the Egyptian off from picking that ball up, Joey. But he's after. I think no in that scenario, though, Peach. Sure there's no review because he's kind of created that Under bad width. He's four, he's five. got to go round El Shabagi. Valid point. To be fair to El Shabagi, there, he wasn't actually taking a massive amount of space. Four five. Sure, El Shabagi will draw off of this now. Got that feeling. Well, you have to be impressed by the fighting spirit of Mohamed El Shabagi. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less. He is the world number one. And he's had that spirit from the word go. Again, it's the forehand volley shutout, two Five patterns. Ball. Front left-hand corner, he's able to slightly squeeze Ramia Shaw, holding the ball that time, so stopping Ramia Shaw and then whipping it through. So this has been superb by El Shabagi at the mid-stage, five all. fire going down there look at that the pace generated considerable PJ hand out six five inch perfect and it had to be past the reach of El Shabagi Let. Six five. <laughs> well, Remy Ashore catches this before it bounces twice. See here, one, and there it's on the end of his racket. A little bit of uh, traffic through the mid court area. It's a simple let ball. I don't know how he gets some of those shots cross court from that angle, Remy Ashore. Such accurate work. Look at that. Forehand volley. This is such high level squash. It surpasses the quality from two years ago. This is a different realm. Look at the accurate hitting at this stage of the match and the amount of movement that's gone on as well. Still it goes on, well played. It's the strength of El Shabagi. Again, he claws it back. This is brilliant from El Shabagi.
Well, this is absolutely brutal. That is an epic rally. El Shabagi was fighting and fighting and fighting. And Rami Ashore smacks his chest. So good to see warriors battling it every aspect. That's the gladiatorial aspect of this sport. And hear the crowd now. Yeah. It yeah. makes you just want to seven five wallop each other pj <laughs> please don't go <Gary. laughs> <laughs> try to control yourself sorry my testosterone is feeding off this rally this match but that's the element that's the hardcore element not giving away cheap errors fighting and fighting and fighting at this level with all this quality i love it i loves it of nowhere the ball slightly short from Al Shabagi and punished Eight straight five. away the Romeo short did exactly the same thing to Gregory Gautier yesterday but after one 35 minute game it's taken the Egyptian over an hour and 15 minutes to bring El Shabagi into that same state grinding to a halt now he's running on fumes Romeo short down. There's another the error. error from Ahmed El Shabagi. Looks back at his corner. Nine five. The adrenaline seeping through the veins of a short. Oh my goodness me! Rami Ashore has five championship Ten balls. Five. Match here ball. in Doha, Qatar. And one save. Not over yet. I've been so impressed with Mohamed El Shabagi. Just a matter of time for this young talent. It's not over yet, though. That's the hard movement again from a short. No, no, he's got it. Hamid El Shabagi, front four and corner. He's getting back in this 7 10. It's going to have to be a great seven, service ten. here, match possibly ball. at the body. Two match balls saved. Just the three to go. Well, what must be going through the head of Remy Short? Shabagi's front forehand Four, corner please, yeah. serving him so well and now the reverse pressure is on the shoulders of a short there were so many times when he could have shut out Shabagi possibly nerves redirected back at a short well the tension here you couldn't you couldn't write it well, he's even got time Eight, for a smile ten. there El Shabagi him out and he has got to sort himself Nine, out ten. here Rami Ashour Ahmed El Shabagi is coming back and he's coming with a vengeance No let. 
Well, he's going for a review. No. You have no reviews remaining. Yeah, we've had a three referee decision. No let. So the no let team, Hel Shabagi, has now brought this into neutral ter territory into a deciding tiebreak. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Each player has one video review available. Yes, let. Yeah, that has Zero. to be a yeah. ball. Very, very tense times that out was, there. That was yeah, given you as a were no holding let. him out as well. Yeah, video review, El Shabagi. Yeah, that's going to be a let ball. The shot not good enough here. But he's gone for the early review in this tie break, Shabagi. No, Rami is sure. Oh, no, sorry, Shabagi, yeah. He felt he did enough to shut out. Remy Ashore there, but he, he blocks his man out. He's blocked into the line of Remy Ashore there. Yes, that decision of El Shabagi has no reviews remaining, and next time you take his space, immediate conduct stroke. Ten all. Wow, just to throw a little bit more tension into the mix. El Shabagi warned for taking too much space, and should he implement that tactic again, he will be awarded a conduct stroke immediately oh his string's gone El Shabagi's string's gone I think his yes lad there's a review sure. review we've got video so much review. drama and action the yes let decision no comments no this is a Conduct shocking warning. decision from Conduct the referee I thought his string had gone because he it just hit the frame on this yeah he whiffed it He's got to go and play that ball. Yeah. How have they deemed this as a let ball, Joey? Yeah, no. He's got to go through and play the ball. He's, there is minimal interference there, no contact. Well, I don't think there is actually. Well, there's a little bit of contact Tiny, on the foot. But, but he's not... gone for the man. This has got to be overturned, surely. <laughs> Decision upheld. Well, thank goodness for that. And out. Well, Shabagi has no reviews remaining. Well, this is the sixth championship ball for Rami Ashore. And Originally, he was at 10-5. And now, he's at 11-10. Yeah. Eleven ten, match ball. Well, a little bit of uh, mind games, Rami Ashore. Bouncing on his feet. Signaling that uh, physically feels okay. There's the forehand volley. The width not good enough. Again, El Shabagi severe on that. Hand out to so much all. wingspan and control taking it so far out in front towards level. 11 all, 2 all, 11 all. Well, I don't know where El Shabagi's got this second win from. He was down and out. It's at all 10 adrenaline. Five. All adrenaline. And this is a prime example. He's shown it in so many of these massive matches, El Shabagi, particularly this year. Yes, lad. 11 all. Nice 
stepped up, a, up the court again now at Romeo Short. This is what was causing so many issues. A stroke to El Shabagi. Well, Ahmed El Shabagi looks up to the gods there. The ball jerking out from Ramia Shaw, and it's the first match ball for Ahmed El Shabagi. And po quite possibly one of the greatest comebacks in world championship history. Well, he's so nervous, he can barely toss the ball up here, Mohamed El Shabagi. Shabagi locked in at 12 all. Yes, let. 12 all. <laughs> well, I, th I mean, what else can we throw on the pile here? It's absolutely everything in this final. Oh, wow. There's a little bit of sweat, but he's so, so... Yes, court attendant. Thank he's amazing you. how he's, he's so clever. I mean, you think about all the different elements that were going on. You can only imagine all the pressure. And yet he's, he's seeing the sweat. I mean, you... unbelievable. Well, we're standing up. There's no way I'm sitting down. I can't sit down. <laughs> Why sit down? Twelve all. Well, there's the unforced error. Hamid El Shabagi had the position. It wasn't the tightest of shots by any means by Rami Ashour. It was the right shot to play from El Shibagi. Seven ever so slightly. Seventh match ball for this Maverick. Number seven. Lucky number seven. Yeah, 13 is unlucky for some, Joey. Will it be lucky for Remy Short? No lads. He's going to review this. And out. He's going to review. All. This is a big call. I he was reviewing. Quiet, quiet, please. Quiet, please. Quiet. Can I have a decision from the video referee as to whether he has an appeal, Mr. Ashura? Well, poor John Mazzarella is amidst. He does. So Rami Ashura does have a video review. Well, this is a massive decision for the fourth official. Well, oh, he's going through there, Joey. He's on his way through to this ball. He's on his way through. Oh, I don't know. It stays up pretty short. I think it... Shibagi. He's trying to go through there. Oh, my God. It's a massive, massive decision. Oh, wow. Wow. No decision over. Well, the fourth officials agreed with you, Paul. So a lifeline for Rami is short. I think he's serving from the wrong side. I think he's serving from the wrong side, PJ. 13-12. I'm not quite sure. I think maybe left, left side. Yeah, no, 13-12. So Match it's been ball. corrected. 
So I was right. <laughs> He's done it! Rabia Shaw has come back from the dead to steal this World Championship title. He is going absolutely bonkers! That was an epic battle, one of the most exciting finals ever on Squash TV, if not the most exciting final. 13, 11, Unbelievable. 5, 11, His whole body 11, has gone 5, into a spasm. Rami Ashour. You could not ever have predicted it. It had every single element, PJ. Stunning in a word. The stage is set for another thriller between these two. A massive sports rivalry has formed over the last couple of years, and every time they step on court, there's always drama. I've never seen it in this kind of form before. Six months without playing a squash match, and Remy Shaw suddenly finds himself as the 2014 champion. It's absolutely phenomenal. This is something quite unbelievable. You will never see a player like this again. He is a one-off, a complete one-off. Well, this will be an interview at about 5,000 miles an hour, I can assure you of that. Well, let's hear the interview down at courtside. Remy, you came here after the British Open. You haven't played any competitive squash at this level. You've come here and you've performed absolute wonders. When you arrived, you talked of being in a dark place. Surely the love you've been shown here tonight and this victory is putting you in a great place. <laughs> well, Robert, uh, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I can't even utter the words. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable feeling. I've, I've, I've worked so hard. You have no, no idea how hard mentally and physically I've been pushing myself. And just to get this as a reward, can't get, bet, can't get any better. There's no way it can get any better. It's a dream. Hamad is an amazing player. He's so explosive. He's going to win so much more. He has a lot of tournaments, a lot of world opens to win. I'm 100% sure about that. Uh, he pushed me to my limits and beyond my limits. I think both of us represented our country in the best manner. And I'm really, really proud of Egypt and of you guys. I haven't seen anything like this for a long time, since the years of Jansha. Special, special for you? Neither do I. I haven't seen anything like this, though. I mean, uh, no, it's been crazy. I mean, I've just, uh, I don't want to keep, talk, keep talking English, because the majority of people here are in Arabic, so uh, uh, Egyptians and Qatari, so I'm I tell you, we're going to play a lot, we're going to play a lot, so we can play the squash and the game that you've seen. And we were going to be today, it's something that doesn't happen. It's something that doesn't happen once in a year, and it's here. And this is something that's a big deal. Thank you. It's possible to play in the game, but there are people too. But the energy and we're going to play today, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your support. نقدر نفرح كده كتير إن شاء الله. Ladies and gentlemen, the Qatar PSA World Champion 2014, Rami Ashour. Going to be on cloud nine with the gods here. Look at that for a scoreline. 90 minutes of nail biting squash. Ramia Shaw overcomes Mohamed El Shabagi. 13 11, 7 11, 5 11, 11 5, 14 12. Three games to two. Well, what a finish to such a fantastic tournament. 
Rami Ashour needed seven match balls to come through this valiant effort from Mohamed El Shabagi. Make no mistake, Shibagi will have his fair share of world titles, but he's going to have to wait at least another year. Rami Ashour hadn't played any competition for six months, but he was fired up for this World Championships. He loves playing here in Doha, Qatar. He beat El Shibagi here two years ago, 11-8 in the fifth. We didn't think that that match could have been topped, but we've seen it here tonight. Ashour, towards the late stage of this fifth and final game, had to call on all of his experience and all of his guts and determination. But you have to say that on the day, it was the Mercurial Shabagi, sorry, the Mercurial Ashour that thoroughly deserves this victory. And what a reaction. It's time to make the presentations, and uh, the first presentation comes by way of the World Squash Federation. I'd like to ask, if I can, Menchawi to please make the presentation of the silver medal to the runner-up. Mohamed El Shabagi, very dignified there. To make the presentation to the runner-up, also the PSA trophy, Mr. Alex Goff, please. Shabagi. Looks like a very nice fruit bowl. Okay. All sure that will be going to his mother. Ladies and gentlemen, the only time in a tournament that I give up the microphone is this moment. You see, we should hear a few words from the champion. Rami, in your own words, in the center, please. Shukran, um, uh, Akid, yani, uh, بالنسبة لي ان انا النهارده كسبت حاجه كبيره جدا حلم بالنسبه لي كبير قوي الفتره اللي فاتت كنا عندي اصابه اصابات وسافرت ورحت في كذا حته وتعبت جامد قوي عشان اقدر ان انا ارجع الحمد لله ان انا قدرت اعمل الكلام ده طبعا توفيق كبير قوي من عند ربنا عايز اشكر محمد على الماتش الهايل اللي لعبه معايا والروح الهايله اللي هو فيها انا شخصيا بحب طريقه لعبه جدا وبحب الستايل بتاعه وهو مية في المية مية في المية هيب هيب بطل عالم كذا أنا هو أوردي بطل عالم بطل عالم إكس بطل عالم كتير جاية في ناس كتير عايز أشكرهم جدا يا جماعة يعني كنت ناس مش بعرفينهم بس أنا لازم ناس كنت اشتغلوا معايا تعبوا معايا أهلي أول ناس أبوي وأمي عملوا معايا مجهود كبير جدا 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 كابتن هيسم عفت نتمرن مع بعض من حوالي أربع سنين أو خمس سنين بقى كتير أوي بنلعب مع بعض هيثم يبقى مدرب جامد جدا إن شاء الله الفترة الجاية آه الناس اللي كانوا آه الناس اللي في مصر اللي أنا كنت آه كانوا على طول يعني بيتمرنوا معايا وكل حاجة أنا كنت في أمريكا برضه اتعالجت هناك آه في دكتور آه دوغ ساكندورف في دكتور براين شايبل في آه ناتالي بالمر آه أخويا هناك ساعدني أبويا كان معايا هناك آه مش عايز أنسى حد كل الناس اللي وقفت جنبي الفترة اللي فاتت يعني عامل معايا مجهود كبير قوي في ناس كتير صدقت ان انا اقدر ارجع وان انا اقدر اكسب وناس كتير ما صدقتش ان انا اقدر ارجع وان انا اقدر اكسب بالنسبه لي كان تشالنج كبير جدا وان انا اقدر ان انا اعمل كده ده حلم كبير قوي بالنسبه لي عايز اشكر السبونسرز مستر علي بن علي فور ذا اميزنج تورنمنت ثانك يو فيري ماتش وي اولويز فيل هوم هنا احنا دايما بنحس فعلا ان احنا بيتنا ونحس يعني البطوله والانرجي وكميه الناس دي ما لهاش في حته كتير في حوالين التور ف اتس ا فيري سبيشال تورنمنت اتس ا فيري سبيشال مومنت Uh, thank you. Um, all the sponsors as well. Uh, without them, this could have never been possible. Uh, last but not least, uh, 
انتوا يا جماعه من غيركم احنا ما كناش نعرف نلعب النهارده كده ف عايز اشكركم جدا 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 آه اخر حد كمان اي هاف تو ثانك از ماي كارنت فيتنس كوتش الستر ماكاو اند ماي ثيرابيست رود جيمس جيمس هاشيموتو ذاتس ات ثانك يو والنكسه اللي انا كسبتها النهارده بهديل مصر انا ومحمد لعبنا لمصر نادي ماكس ده لمصر ميرسي جدا شكرا But he stands between these two delightful ladies. Let me ask Mohammed Al Manshawi, the WSF Vice President, to please present the gold medal from the World Squash Federation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the magic moment when we ask Mr. Nabil Ali Benali, please, to make the presentation to the 2014 world champion. <laughs> there it is. Ramia Shaw. Coming back from the dead, really. Six months out of the game with not one competitive squash match since the British Open semi-final back in May. And he has come back onto the world squash scene in an absolute hurricane.